Yep, I'm gonna go. You guys, you guys better run. What sort of freak is that? It's that sauce in it. Go home. Homes now. Oh, what? You'll enchant us all. Dude, look at his eyes. Get the non human. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I. God, they do no damage to me. Can I can I go out here? I want to go see if there's other parts of the city I need that I need to help. Damn, dude, see? <sighs> I guess I probably did kind of fuck the non-humans over in this uh, city. What the fuck? All well, these guys are okay. Oh, okay, he's coming back here. I mean, I my decisions led to this, but it's not my fault. If they weren't shitty people, it wouldn't have happened. No matter what I decided. I'm not going to let the fact, and this should go for anything, whatever it may be. Don't let shitty people and their choices and decisions make you feel like the bad guy. That goes for anything. They really should. Do I feel bad about this? Yes. Obviously. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit there and blame myself and be like, oh woe is me. No, I'm gonna fucking Well, I can't really stop them, but I could stop them. Alright, let's fuck them up! Not good. Don't just stand there. We need to look for clues. Yeah, you goofus. Don't just stand there, Dandelion. God. Sheila's bodyguard. His neck's broken. No wounds. So that's not his blood. Triss enters, breaks the guard's neck, then wounds herself? That's stupid. <laughs> no, you idiot. Fucking Letho broke his neck. God. Idiot. <clears throat> What is it? A peephole. Someone might have been spying. The brothel's behind that wall. Maybe the madam saw what happened. Let's go. What? <gasps> what a mess. Level up. Level up. Level up. Thanks. Stay away from me. Shut the fuck up. Uh, sorry. Gotta level up, though. We'll tell you. I'll be right there. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work my way towards this one. So, I'm probably gonna do...
<clears throat> Got a little bit of food here. So I think I'm going to get... I'm going to get that one. Later, we're closed. They've killed one of my girls. It's Deray, Geralt. That was her room. What happened? They murdered her. Yesterday, they loved her, drank wine with her, told her she's pretty. Today, five of them came, drunk on blood, screaming filth. She had a client at the time? No, she was with me. What are you looking at? I was consoling her. I was hoping you knew what happened in the next room. I noticed a peephole. But if you were busy... We were. Until we heard voices beyond the wall. Schiller normally cast spells that blocked both sight and sound. But there was nothing like that this time. We started peeping. Me first. I saw that redhead, Triss Merigold, and Cedric, our drunkard ex-squirrel. The redhead approached the magic mirror and said, Let's see who our ice queen's been talking to recently. She meant Schiller. Even I figured that out. She waved her hands, shouted an incantation, and a man appeared in the room, mighty ugly. Darai was so scared, she squealed. When I finally got Darai out of the way, a different figure was in the room, a woman Triss called Philippa. Oh, here we go. Mm. Triss, you're looking nice. Get out of the way. I want to look. <laughs> Why are you using Sheila's megascope? I can't believe she approved it. That's like using her toothbrush. Ugh. Sheila's oblivious to it. Wait, what? I have? Oh, shit. Why did Sheila come to Flotsam? It's a delicate matter. We need someone at Henselt's court, but he hates sorceresses. I know. Henselt's only son died in a hunting accident three years ago. The king has failed to sire more offspring, in spite of trying incessantly. Sheila claims she can heal the king's faulty apparatus, but needs very rare ingredients. Which she intends to harvest from the Cairn. Exactly. This way a sorceress will have the king's ear again. That's all I know, really. Dandelion. Any idea who <clears throat> Philippa is? Philippa Eilhart, sorceress counselor to King Radovid of Redania, a grand mistress of the world's most fetid cuisine, politics. She's amoral in a crystalline way, so devoid of conscience that she's a phenomenon. Rumor is she's out of favor at the Redanian court, which, if true, she probably arranged herself in order to leave the capital. Oh, damn. What happened to Triss? I don't know. I already told you about the only conversation I heard. Just before those murderers came, they kicked me and stabbed her eye. But I heard fighting from the other room. The sorceress was screaming. When the murderers left, searching for other victims, appeared outside. Thought I saw Cedric sneaking through the alleys towards the forest. He was staggering. Thank you, Margot. I owe you. Witcher, wait. Give this to Yarveth. A letter? The names of Darai's killers. You'll understand. Your spine for your wrath? I already knew that. I don't intend to see you. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm not going to meet Yorvith. Will you turn me in? No, don't worry. Dandelion, wait here for me. I'm going to find Cedric. Cedric's blood. I just need to follow it. Drinking a dose of the cat. What? Really?
Alright, let's drink a cat potion. Is this it? <laughs> Is this his blood? Because now there's no one to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good thing I did it before. Losing a lot of blood. Fucking A. Alright, this way. I'm just going back to the town. What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? I'm trying. There he is. Head mill, Gwen Blade. I no longer feel the pain. Always wanted to die among trees. Cedric, what happened? Triss asked me for help. I killed the Dwan guarding the door, and we broke in. Again, I killed a Dwan. I know. Where's Triss? A witcher came in, attacked us. I tried to protect Triss. He was fast. Too fast for me. He hit Triss before she could cast a spell. He knew how to fight a sorceress. Then he ordered her to activate the Megascope. He needed to get to Eden, near the dwarven town of Bergen. Triss said it was madness, that she didn't have the <coughs> coordinates. He gave her a strange look, threatening. Better give it your best. You're going first, with me right behind you. Then I... Passed out. When I woke, they were gone. I knew I was dying. The forest called me. Why, Cedric? Why did you get involved? Why did you? Sometimes we must. Have I told you about my visions? That's why I drink. It helps. I have heard that. <laughs> I'm safe in a mist of vodka. See nothing, feel nothing. Cedric. But now I see clearly. You need to regain your memory. Only then will you understand who's killing crowned Dwan. And why. How can I get it back? In Edda. In a place tainted with dark magic. Where ghosts of the fallen will fight a great battle. Save their souls. And your memory will... Wait, why didn't you tell me this before? Oh, maybe because he had a vision about it? What's happening? 
through the forest. I feel a presence. Dude, look at that rabbit, what the fuck? They come to bid you farewell. More forest. Lost Vegas with his legs. Farewell. You served well. <clears throat> I'm gonna fuck Letho up. Letho, well, I know Le I know Letho is in the third game. <laughs> damn it. I almost had him. He fled. Teleported to Edern. What? How? He forced Triss to cast the spell. Shit. Roach sent me to find you. We're setting off. He's learned something new. The Scoyatel are also up to something big. I know. I, oh. Well, when I played The Witcher 3, he was in it. Not because I remember doing quests for him. Because I think I, I think what I, I think I let him live in this one when I played it. I can't remember. I can't remember if I imported a save in Witcher Three or not. But all I know he was he was in my Witcher Three game. What's Roach planning? He went off on Laredo, so it must concern the Commandant. It's something important. What are the Scoyatel planning? They want to storm the barge and they need your help. When did you join the Scoyatel, Zoltan? It's not like that. They're taking the prisoners to Drakenburg. A special prison for non-humans. Bloody monument to human hatred. I'll talk to them. Maybe Roach or the Scoyatel can finally be useful. Oh, so this is where I choose who to go with. Gotcha. <clears throat> Yeah, that's a lot of experience. Um, question Can I just go talk to both of them and then figure out what I want to do? Or if I go talk to them, is that okay? I so I'm gonna go talk to both of them. I'm gonna go talk to both of them, see what they have to say, then make my decision from there. But I think I'm probably gonna go with Roach. Yeah, I'll need, I'll need to think. Okay, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what, that, that's what I'm gonna do then. That's what I'm gonna do. Quick save it. In case I fuck it up somehow. <laughs> What's up, little bitch? Shut the what? fuck up. Where is he? He forced Triss to teleport them both to Edern. No. The Scoyatel in Edern will pay for my stupidity with their lives. Elias, ready the unit to march. You'll leave immediately. Why Upper Edern? The Pontar Valley is a juicy piece of meat beset by hounds. The Scoyatel bite hardest. It's our land. Our forefathers' land. I'm no bandit, Gwynblade. I lead a great army. You said you're going to Vergen. True. Why go to a dwarven town? Henselt and his army have pitched camp on the right riverbank. The Virgin and a sorceress gather reinforcements to defend Edern. Which sorceress? Philippa Eilhart. What's a Redanian sorceress doing in Edern? Only she can reveal that. And you plan to be king? King Yorbeth the First? I've already told you. 
I know the head the crown would fit. We merely have to place it there. Whose head is it? One who believes in integrity, honesty, and honor. A person who won't sell out to Nilfgaard for a few florins. A woman named Saskia. Is she your fiance? <coughs> Don't mock me, Gwynblade. <coughs> it sounds like she's more important to you, not just a woman whose head would fit the crown. You'll understand once you meet her. Soon the whole world will hear of the Virgin of Edern, a woman blessed with extraordinary courage. Has she proven her courage, or is that just talk? She defeated a dragon. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> I can't lie. It sounds like you want to establish an elven state. There is already an elven state. Dolblathana. Yeah, of course, duh. There rules, there. rules. She merely carries out Nilfgaardian orders. <clears throat> we want a truly free state, where an elf could visit a human inn. A land where humans could enter the forest without fear. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, man. That right there, what he just said. Uh, uh, see? Ah, shit. <laughs> well, okay. In my defense, or rather, I should say, in Geralt's defense, I didn't even try to fight it. <laughs> Man, what he just said, though, he actually, he wants... A place where humans and non-humans can just do... Oh, that... <laughs> oh, I fucking hate these decisions. I love them at the same time, though. What does the leader of an army expect of me? That you accompany me to Edern. Perhaps you'll find your sorceress there. You'll certainly find someone who will soon change the balance of power in the north. There was a massacre in Flotsam. The streets run red with your brethren's blood. I know. That's why I need your help. You want me to murder humans at your side? I wish death upon every one of those Dwan. But that's not the point. Upper Edern is our goal. That's two days travel on foot. You'll never make it in time. I have a plan. What plan? First, you must agree to help us. I need to know more before I decide. No, Vatgern. You helped me with Letho. That's the sole reason we're speaking. We may both be pursuing the same son of a bitch, but I haven't forgotten the company you arrived in. Make your choice now. I'll let you go if you refuse. I couldn't do that later. Yeah, yeah, I know that they... They're like two completely separate storylines. I can help, but I need to take care of something first. Be quick. I shall wait. Okay. Let me know how it is. I mean, it's fucking. It, I don't know. I. Yorvis awaits you. To walk. <laughs> that the blueberry pounder granite one, I, th I think, is the best. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna go talk to Roach now, and then. I'm probably going to end it for today. So I can make my decision. <laughs> no, that's not why, but... <laughs> um, but yeah, then I will... Uh, man, I, have to, I do have to think about it, though. Because I know Yorvith wants humans and non-humans to live together, but I'm sure Roach does, too. I'm sure that side does, too. It's just Yorveth is caught. Uh, I don't know. It's it's complicated. Yep, this way. But I'm gonna go talk to Roach. See what he has to say. And and I know I know yeah yeah I know the developers the uh, CD Projekt Red I know they made they made. Both sides seem right. They did that on purpose. They didn't want a 100% good, 100% evil path. They wanted to do like a 50-50. Like, there's both, there's 
really good points on Roach's side. There's really good points on Ro on uh, Yoris' side. But there's also negatives to both. So, they did that on purpose. Which, I, uh, I do like that they did that. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're right. You don't... You do not see that very often in games at all. Like mo most games, there's like a 100% good path, 100% evil path. And this is like, like I said, 50-50. more complicated. What the fuck were you doing with the Scoia'tael? You gave your vet a sword. You followed me? I've got others who do that for me, Geralt. Vess, to be exact. Yorvith and Letho had a falling out. I wanted to take advantage. Who's Letho? The Kingslayer. Oh, you're sworn friends now. Stop pissing me off. I tried everything I could to get him. If you'd trusted me, we could have captured him by now. The Kingslayer fled to Vergen in Edirn. He forced Triss to teleport them both. Damn, he's made a mockery of us. If that's how he wants to play, I'll make him regret it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there's there's some RPGs where you can be evil, technically, but you still, like, Mass Effect. You can be a renegade, which is evil. It's not, like, evil evil, but you're still forced down the the path of the game, no matter if you're good or uh, Paragon or renegade. Um, same thing with, like, Baldur's Gate. Like, you can be evil, but... You can be evil or good, but you you're you're doing the same quests, you're doing the same thing. Um <clears throat> but yeah, this game is a lot different like that. So I uh there is a game called Tyranny, which is like Pillars of Eternity, Baldur's Gate, Dyson Dale. I'm sh I'm sure you've heard of it probably. Um where you can actually be the evil, like you can actually be evil. <laughs> the game is meant for you to be evil. And you can still choose a good side. Um, so I thought that was I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, most that's what I really liked about, especially Witcher Two, is that there wasn't a good and and, and I guess that's that's because Geralt is neutral, tries to stay neutral on a lot of things as it is. But uh, Watson's ablaze. How did it start? When Vess reported you'd met with Yorveth, I ordered... But yeah, I really like that about the Witcher. The incompetent oafs were supposed to wait for a signal. But the crossbowmen were twitchy. We surprised them, but Yorveth, the Scoia'tael, gave us hell. We barely escaped alive. Many of my men are wounded, but Lurido's people... Dungeon Keeper. That elves <laughs> dozen Is that the one where you make a dungeon and then, like, the heroes come in and try to beat it and then you have to try to kill the heroes or whatever? You can imagine what happened next. Yeah, yeah, I've I've, I've seen that. <laughs> I had a friend who played that once, a uh, few times, and I watched him play it. And yeah, it looks it looks it looks pretty fun actually. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, if you don't if you ha uh, if you haven't heard of Tyranny, you should look it up and and uh, see if it's something you'd it, it it like it really reminds. Well, it was Obsidian, right? Pretty sure Obsidian made it. The people that made Pillars of Eternity and among a lot of other games too um but yeah i'm pretty sure obsidian made tyranny so i heard you have news for me lorido has a deal with kedwin that merchant living in his house is hensel's agent for a pouch of gold the good commandant promised to support kedwini troops in the event of a conflict so what now i want that spy to squeeze it for information and i've sentenced commandant lorido to death Roach, we have to sail. We need to get to Edirn. I'm not leaving until I deal with Lorido. The spy may know something about the Kingslayers. I wouldn't be surprised if Henselt of Kedwin was behind all this. Okay. <clears throat> Back later. Damn it, Geralt, it's not a date. You can't keep putting it off. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so I'm gonna save it here and I'm gonna be done for today, but... Yeah, like I said, Tyranny... I, I beat it right when it came out and... It's a, uh, it's pretty interesting. There's DLC for it that I haven't played, so 
But yeah, and I do plan to do a Pillars of Eternity run on Path of the Damned eventually. Um, because 